guys today I'm gonna to be taking apart the next star 3 external hard drive enclosure this is a USB 2.0 and I'm just gonna take it apart see what all is inside this little bad boy there won't be a lot but I'm gonna look inside and see what it looks like and as always guys Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't like the video. You guys are the boss. Alright? Now let's get started here. And you can see. Got a little. Holder I guess. You call it or stand. Let you guys. View with this here. This is it right here. The next star three. And this is the front of it. Has a LED right here. Unplug this. And you can see it has a special plug. You can only use this plug for power. I hate the ones with these. The USB cable. On off power, power cable, USB cable. All right, get that out of the way. There's two screws that I can see right here. Take those out first. These are Phillips head screws. Okay. That one. On to the next one. Get this one out here. Okay, I'm going to get this, there we go, oh, there we go, came right out, and before I get to that, here you can see this cable here, this connects to the LED, so all the way up front, this is the LED light right here. Now, this already has a hard drive in it. This is an old hard drive. Wow. This is from 2006. It's a 2006 hard drive, Western Digital. Okay, now let's take this out. Four Phillips head screws holding this in. Let's take those out. to get this hard drive on here. There we go. Alright. It's connected here with a little Molex power cable here. And some people might not even ever seen this. This is the IDE connector <laughs> this is like this is how old this thing is all these newer hard drives use these SATA cables they don't use these anymore this is old school this is a whole hard drive using the old IDE cables but uh, what many people don't know these are actually faster than SATA cables these are actually faster but they, they switched and everybody changed to SATA cables and that's what their decision was. Okay, we'll see what they change it to in the future, but this actually is faster than the SATA cables they have. Alright, let's see what puts this in. There is not a lot of parts in here. I have two Phillips 
screws here. Take that one out. Another one over here. Take that one out. Alright. I'll separate the controller board here. No. Okay, turn it over. Ow! Poked me. Yeah. Integrated circuit right here. Transistors. I can see some transistors. And these little ones. Multi layered. Multi layer uh, transistors. Little teeny. You guys can barely see them. You need like magnifying glasses to see them. Another type of transistor over here. There's a lot of different types of transistors, guys. Lots of different kinds. And let's see. This one right here. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's like a 25V right here. That's 25 volts. Because this here... This here is a capacitor. And the way I like to say it's like a little battery. But these are capacitors. Okay? And that's basically what this is made up of, guys. Transistors, integrated circuit, multi-layer transistors, couple capacitors. This is basically all this board has on it. Okay, and as always, I thank you guys for watching the video, and remember, thumbs up if you like, thumbs down if you don't, and as always, I thank you for watching, bye bye.